there's no time like the present to introduce two friends who are here together on the Rich Eisen Show. Is it alternate routes or routes? How do we say routes. this? Routes. routes. We we're decided routes? if we were Canadian, it would be routes. Roots. roots. Or right. if, they, if Roots wants to sponsor the show, oh. then it would be alternate routes. Well, it would be a different phrasing yes. of it. So it was we a huge routes. debate. That was, was a, a that huge was, debate. That was a huge was it really? Debate. Yeah. Oh, okay. my God. Yeah. How do you want to pronounce it? Routes, 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 routes. 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 Alternate, alternate routes, routes is yes. the new podcast okay. from the Wondery group of people who put out the podcasts. Uh, it's uh, with my friends Trey Wingo and Kevin Frazier here Hello. on the program. Good to see you. Hey. That's hey. worthy round of applause. Oh, you're far too kind. Oh, uh, listen, anybody that Del Tufo can say I know for a long time makes him very excited. <laughs> I mean, the You greatest. guys know each other forever, right? We go way back to Fox Sports, the early days, some of the worst sports Sports TV ever Come made. <laughs> Listen, I don't, there's no shame in that. And we all do bad things, and it was bad. It was we bad. had some bad days. <laughs> how bad was it, right? Isn't that the what, how Johnny bad Carson? Bad how bad, bad was, was it? it? Well, yeah. here's the thing. Then yeah. Keith arrived to rescue the ship and steady the <laughs> ship. KO. Yeah. That KO. What Keith year was man. this? Um, we were 94, 95, 96. We started 96. 96. Yeah, that's when I started on Sports Center, and yeah. then you came 97? 97. 97. I was, I was one year behind you. I remember all of one that. One year in several classes below you. That's ridiculous. Remember, that's there absurd. was a hierarchy at oh Sports Center. Oh, come there on. was definitely a hierarchy. Where did you get? Hold on a minute. The radio audience is going to come back before okay. we start really digging into this sort of thing. Yeah. And then we'll talk about uh, the new episodes of uh, Alternate <clears throat> Routes. Routes. Uh, released every single Tuesday. What a fascinating uh, concept this is. What if moments? in sports thus the 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 the, the uh, arrows yes, yes the okay directions. oh and it's yeah. also a diamond for baseball and there i see go. the football there okay i'm go. seeing all Basketball this stuff now i'm see i'm picking up it's whatever. like they knew what they were doing it's <laughs> and you too well you know what you were doing as well that's a okay. stretch at this Trey point. Wingo and kevin frazier are here i'm back on the rich eisen show radio network <laughs> sitting at the rich eisen show desk furnished by granger with supplies and solutions for every industry granger has the right product for you Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. And if there's two guys who understand that soap must be sold right in the middle of a conversation, it's these two guys, the host of Alternate Routes, the podcast about what if scenarios in sports being presented to you via Wondery. My friends, Trey Wingo and Kevin Frazier here on the program. How, how, how did you guys get uh, fixed up? You guys have known each other since the Sports Center days? Is that yeah. basically it? Yeah. We, uh, you came in 2002? I right? came in 2001. 2001. Okay. 2001, the first, yeah. So yeah, like yeah. the first time we ever hung out was the 2002 NBA All-Star game. Yes, it in, was. In Atlanta. Yes. Okay. And oh, so, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Long time ago. It was a long time ago. The worst traffic ever in All-Star oh, Game. So well, bad. I mean, just name you fill in the blank uh, for any of the sporting events in Atlanta. Worst yeah, traffic There's one ever. way in, one way out. That's I mean, pretty much it. Terrible. Was that, the, was that the new Phillips Arena, or is it still the old, like, Omni back in that day? Uh, I uh, All I remember, that was, that was Michael Jeffrey Jordan's swan song. That was, mm -hmm. uh, as a wizard, that was, his oh, last, that was his last All-Star game. How did you get in? How did Stuart Scott let you get in the building? Uh, for that? Yeah, <laughs> what, that what, actually, that's a great story. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Stu says, hey, I'm having lunch. Meet me in lunch and the Ritz. So I walked down in there, mm -hmm. and people might know that I enjoy the game of golf, and I'm fascinated by one certain golfer. Yes. And uh, I walk in, and Stu is having lunch with Tiger Woods. Oh, of course he was. And I'm like... <laughs> you know, so I, I just sort of sneak in, and I uh, hey, Stu and and Tiger goes, hey Trey, I'm like, oh, oh hey Tiger, what's up? And I was like, <laughs> is that like, right? Yeah. So then, so then after that, I'm mm -hmm. sort of starstruck, mm -hmm. and I leave the thing, and I'm I'm calling my dad on you know an early cell phone, you know, the size of a brick house, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I have it next to my head, and the elevator door opens. I'm so excited to tell my dad the story. The elevator door opens up and I barge in mm -hmm. before letting people out and I run into this large human being and he goes, Wingo, watch where you're going. Oh, Michael, sorry, apologize. Ah. So like in in like a 30 yeah, second span, Tiger and Michael both said my name. I was like, oh, take me oh, now. Oh, oh. I'm good. Right? I'm good. That's cool. I'm that, that Ritz was the epicenter oh, of yeah. craziness it was during nuts. that All-Star game. Yeah, Michael nuts. had a suite where Charles Oakley was kind of the, the security guard. Of and, course. And he had World Wide West in there and a bunch of other guys. And it was bananas. Yeah. It was bananas. Greg Anthony took me in there. I didn't get entree without Greg Anthony. See, he goes everywhere. Without Greg Anthony. Well, I mean, and, and Stu had to have, he, he, he knew he was going to have lunch with Tiger. Correct. And he knew you were a big <laughs> Tiger fan. Correct. And he says, why don't you just come by at lunch? Yeah. It was, that sounds just straight up his alley. It was Pretty cool. Th that that Stu would have the perfect combination of sweet yeah. consideration of others while also 
humble bragging yeah, the entire time. Know, yeah. <laughs> it's come have lunch with me. Come have lunch. You know, see who this Eldrick is. Eldrick will right, be right. there. And by the way, when we show off, talking yeah. about the hierarchy at Sports Center, yeah. it's the Rich and Stew days. Correct. We were in the mm. middle of the Rich and Stew days. Correct. And I always used to look across. And there would be Rich reading the newspaper. And yeah. this is also when Rich got the girl. Yeah. We were just back ah! in the green room. Yeah. Yeah. And we saw a great picture of Rich yeah. and Susie yeah. together in London. And I always remember looking across, and maybe it was Van Pelt or one of those guys that said, how did he get her? Yeah. How did he get her? The world is full of mysteries. <laughs> I mean, I the like, world oh is full of mysteries. And by the way, I saw Susie a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, she still looks amazing. How did you get her? You know what? Uh, patience is a virtue, sir. Yeah. Okay. There's a patience fine line a between virtue. love and stalking. There's a very fine line. I think the police. It's, a, it's an important line. Yes. but it's a very yeah. fine yeah, line. Is, and this is her sign when uh, when she when she hosts the show. She takes go. my best dad ever, and she puts the best mom there ever sign go. out there. Mm -hmm. Well, she loves you, Kay Frazier, and she knows you from back in the day too. Absolutely, Trey Wingo. Well, it's yeah. good to see you guys here. It's good to be here. All right, how did you come up with this concept of the of the pod? Well, I mean, I think it's one thing that everyone talks about. Like, for example, yeah. your coordinating producer. Mm -hmm. Mike Hoskins? Yes. Diehard Bills fan? Uh, my heart bleeds. Okay. <laughs> the, being a Buffalo Bills fan is nothing but pain and misery and agony. Worse. Um, you know, what Buffalo Bills fan doesn't say, what if Norwood made the kick? Mm -hmm. What if it isn't wide right? Yeah. How much different do we think about the Bills as a franchise? They might have won all four of those Super Bowls. Right. You know, that one missed kick, because they, they probably should have won two of those four. You know, the Cowboys won when they were up 13 to six in Super Bowl 28 mm -hmm. at halftime, and they were shut out in the second half. They lose 30 to 13. Right. And then that one, if you know, if they win that first one, maybe they win all four in a row. And we're talking about the greatest run in the history of, of the Super Bowl and how we look at that franchise. And what does that do to Jimmy Johnson and the Dallas Cowboys and Troy Aikman and their legacy? Or, Everything goes a different way. Or Parcells, obviously. Exactly. You Everything. Know. Everything. And so it's all about looking and finding those alternate routes. Routes. That routes, the alternate routes. routes. See, routes. we even have to do it to ourselves. The alternate uh, routes, yeah. wherever you go. What if, yeah. what if David Stern doesn't veto the Chris Paul trade? Boom, and Chris Paul ends up in L.A. What if playing with Kobe for the Lakers? Yeah. yeah, and what does that do to the league? Like, remember, Chris Paul, because of that, became adamant about player rights and, and player representation and player power, and the NBA Players NBA Association NBA. became the strongest union. In yeah. the league, basically because of that. Mm. Does any of that happen if if he comes here and plays with Kobe? And by the way, we now know that Andrew Bynum was going bone on bone with those knees, and so yeah. if they kept him as their center, that was a losing proposition. So maybe they don't win. I yeah. can't imagine another situation like that happening right now, right? Where there's a trade. Yeah. Well, I guess it inv also involved a franchise that was – Taken over by the league. Taken over yeah. by the league. Well, yeah. I mean, like, you know, well, and so. Bud Seeley, when he was the uh, <laughs> temporary, or, or yeah. was it temporary commissioner? What was his? The acting, acting commissioner. Whatever it was. Yeah. He was still the, the owner of the Brewers for like 10 years before he actually took the actual job yeah. of, of being the commissioner of baseball. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So you just sit around and um, and ideate which one would be a, make for a good pod. And, there are and, a million of them, Rich. Though. Right. right now, you can run off and rattle off. And, and a thousand, and, and we try and get as crazy as possible, but <laughs> real. Like, right. like for right. example, there's a one where we're doing. What if? Because uh, the Lakers and Bulls yes. had a coin flip to find out who would get Magic Johnson number one overall in the 1979 draft. Well, what if the Bulls won that coin flip? There's a scenario there where somehow we have Charles Barkley as the first African American president of the United States. <laughs> No, I, and, hold on, and what, you play it out. It actually makes sense. It you know is not. Right. I'm not going to tell you on the show. Right. Right. We're going to have to listen to that episode. Wow. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I mean, that's one would say that's a leap. Yeah. Um, but you, yeah. you, you do connect dots all but, the way through. Does, butterfly it, effect. Is that's Kevin Bacon involved think. in any way, shape, Six or form? Degree. Well, in almost every episode, Tom Brady is. Tom Brady is in there <laughs> almost every Tom Brady. episode. Yeah. Every episode. Even the Chris Paul trade. Uh, Barry, the Barry, what if Barry, Barry Bonds, Bonds. Uh, didn't go to the Giants somehow changes Tom Brady's career forever? Yeah. What if he goes to the Yankees? What if Barry ends up in the Yankees or someplace else? Yeah. Playing with another guy. Yeah, you do realize this is nightmare fuel for the fans who did have this stuff go their way. Well, actually, you know what we, I mean? we conclude every episode by saying, "Okay, whatever fans, that was just this. We're all good now. It did happen the way you wanted it's, it to happen." So, <laughs> yeah. way, can, can I just say, there's one no thing? place like home. Yeah, <laughs> I will say this. This is one of the more intimidating studios around. What are you talking about? But I just found the most intimidating thing in the studio. What is that? What is the most intimidating? Well, I had to use the facilities. 
Yes. Before we came onto the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm in there <laughs> facilitating. And over the thing where you facilitate is yes. a picture of Bill Belichick saying, do your job. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I've never had more difficulty. Is that right? That was that was a lot of pressure. You did, well, uh, Bill staring down at you like that. By the end of the day, yeah. was the job uh, done? Finished. Accomplished. You know, you're a big the coffee, boy now. The coffee you, worked. You're a big boy now, the, Trey. The coffee oh, well, the coffee. But isn't this also where you <laughs> get to is. keep all your stuff? Very good. This is where there you it is, keep right all there. Do your yeah, job. Yeah. Do your job. Well, uh, like, how, how is anybody not going to be like, oh, okay, I, I'm on it? Well, we thought Bill smiling would be the would be, would be be helpful, you know? Uh, hey, well, okay, it's then, not, it's then, not okay, the stern why Bill. Why is he smirking? Is, is he taking a shot? He could is be. Is he taking a shot? <laughs> he could be. Is he, is he evaluating the situation and saying, really? I don't know. <laughs> really? That's another alternate route right and, there. And your green Sadly, room, that is it correct. feels very Jimmy Kimmel. You know that. I appreciate that. It, you, do, it feels like well, you're a Kimmel. Do, do you know who um, who uh, helped redesign the green room? Cool. Choose, choose the paint, choose a lot of that stuff. Best mom ever? Susie Schuster. There you go. Absolutely. And also, if you see so many of these neat items that we have here, do you know who was the one who said, you know where that would look better? That's what I was going to think. House? This is yeah. where your wife was like, take all your crap and get out. Because that's what happens yeah. in my house. Yeah. My, you know, you, we have incredible memorabilia. Like, yeah. we gather stuff. Yeah. Sure. And our wives don't give a damn. <laughs> They're like, I was like, wait a minute, that's from Tiger. And it's and it's signed. And she's like, yeah. And? And put it in a corner. That's right. What's your point? Exactly. Yeah. I want it, nothing yeah. to do. I, get, I do get a lot of the, you know, that would look good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that would look in the studio. studio. Yeah. Uh, the the exactly. other, it's a terrible analogy, and but I'll make it anyway. You remember Poltergeist? Oh yeah, where the the entity would just suck all the belongings out of the Still room. Still one of the scariest and, movies ever made. And make them disappear. Yeah, that's my life. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're looking for something. You're like, remember what I had that thing, thing from there, the 2000. We have one chair in our house that I brought yeah. to the marriage, yeah. and it's it. Everything else, uh, I'm, I'm just. I'm know just, your, I'm know just, your I just, role. I just walk around. No, know know your role. And I By come the way, Rich, did you you had That's an okay office at Sports Center? Didn't Rich have? No did way. Rich had an office. I did at we the very end. Cubicles. I had yeah. no, 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 no. Cubicles. Excuse me. I was please. This was a big Huge. issue for big me. Big deal at Sports yes, Center. Yes, yes, yes. I was cubicled all the way up till about eight. I, I was cubicled all the way up to about eight months before the end of my last contract, and then I was boxed. Yeah. Like here's your cardboard box. So I went from cubicle to an office. To a cardboard box, just like that. That's how Trey, fast you it can had go. an office. Trey had an office. Oh, of course. Yeah, I did. Well, yeah, you did. had one. Well, I mean, how long were you there? You were there for twenty four years. You, I hope you had an office yeah. at some point. I think, By what point? What year did you finally get the uh, office? I, you and I were cubicle close to each other for a while. Yes, we were. And then I think I got the office, maybe like a year after you left. Okay. So maybe so two thousand four. Maybe I think I might have inherited your office. That, but that, that's a huge thing, though. People don't understand. They, they have no it's idea. It's a huge thing to get an office. There's so many little things that you used to like cling onto as a sign of validation over there. I'm not going to call out a current Sports Center anchor. Yeah, there you are. That who got an got an office please, early please, and it please. caused it caused a huge Is he problem. Involved? Not that guy. No, 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 okay. no, no. Let me say this. Okay. But uh, well, Greeny. Remember when Greeny oh, yeah. got his office? Yeah. And I mean, and everybody was up in arms. They're like, yeah. "Oh my God, he got an office. How yeah. didn't so and so get an office?" But I never forget at Fox Sports, we yes. were on a movie lot. We yeah. had dressing rooms with yeah. like microwaves, and you know, we had a wardrobe department and all this. So I come to we ESPN. Had gum. I, I, ESPN. You had nothing. We had gum. I, by the way, and because of Susie, I knew what they had at Fox. Yes. And I knew you coming to ESPN would be. Um, uh, shall we say Culture. a moment? Yeah, it'll be a moment for it you. Was shocking! I'll never forget <laughs> doing the NBA with Tim Hardaway and us both standing in our underwear in a cubicle. Yeah, and I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Here? Just trying to create that locker room atmosphere. Man. Where's the, where's the wardrobe department? By the way, it <laughs> sounds like a Sports Center commercial, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. You and Tim Hardaway, and he he was probably in his Golden State Warriors uniform <laughs> if it was a Sports Center commercial, which, by the way, was yeah. another. Moment of validation. Oh, I yes. remember when it was time for Sports Center commercial oh, time. Oh my God! You got the call sheet. And the, and 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 they would the, the members of the uh, the ESPN, um, I guess, ad sales department or whatever mm -hmm. was in charge of it. Yeah. They would they would walk around with the book of scripts like this up against their chest. It's, it's like and they would play. say, "Hold on a minute. Here's your script." And they would go yeah. through it and like. All right, how many am I not in? Yeah, Rich, you were in a lot of Sports Center commercials. I was in I was in a handful of them. Um, 
uh, but not not as much as you think. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. Trey, yeah. you did a bunch. I did a, I did a bunch early, and then once I did NFL Live, I you know they, we don't do commercials for NFL. Live. I was <laughs> I was in my my first one that I yeah, was what in. Was your favorite my favorite. My first the first one I was in, and it was like week uh, five for me or six, and I couldn't believe they put me in it, which was yeah. great. It was a host of Sports Center anchors. Passing around Kerry Strug yep, I remember that. with her ankle mm, wrapped yeah. because that had just mm. happened in the 96 Olympics with right. Bella Caroli was right. carrying her. And uh, a bunch of sports center anchors handed her off one to the other. I think I'm, I forgot, I might have handed her off to Gary Miller, who handed her <laughs> off to Keith. Who handed her off the the to the Michigan State Spartan mascot to yeah. Sparty? That was the gag, and her mom was not very happy. I was about to say, how did they convince her? I got this great idea. We're gonna pass you around. I know. Oh <laughs> like, that, that was that was my first ever Sports Center commercial. Yeah. The one that that is uh, the two that are most uh, lasting are, are one where I got sent down to the minors. Oh, I remember yes, that one. That was um, that was a good one. And where I was not happy about that. I remember that. I was there. Wait, 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 see, I, see, I was not happy about that because I had been there on Sports Center for three, four years. See that that's now, how that's how like, fragile what's up with that? that's how that's fragile how the ecosystem was. was there, right? It you you petty. clung to anything. I remember when the vacation list came out oh, and you needed to see how many people were ahead of you before you could pick your vacation Dude, time. I'll tell this story. I don't yeah. care. Should I tell this story? You know which story yeah. I'm gonna tell too, because Chris yeah. has been around too long. Yeah. So <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell this story. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so I get to Sports Center in '96 yeah. from Redding, California. You came from St. Louis, yeah. and you came from Fox Sports. Yeah. I came from like deep down the list of uh, of Missoula, ranked, Montana. Type okay, place, right, yeah. yeah, like I don't, I forget what what number we were yeah. market wise. Uh, market wise, right. So I came from the middle of, if you will, nowhere, and I I'm on the air from Redding, and I love you folks, but this yeah. is honestly how I showed up, and um, and I. I went in for vacation days right off the bat because yeah. I had already had planned a vacation with my high school buddies that I would already put my money out for. And I right. was broke. I was flat broke yeah, when right. I was hired, yeah. like flat broke. Yeah. And I couldn't get out of it. Yeah. Um, and and, and <laughs> I want, so I immediately asked for a week's vacation on the first day oh my of showing up from Redding, California. <laughs> and they How'd were cool with it. They were yeah. cool with it. Okay. They're like, fine, we understand you can have it. Yeah. Um, and then I asked for the Jewish high holidays off. Yeah. And they told me I couldn't have Yom Kippur off yeah. because you couldn't have more than three sports center anchors ask for the same day yeah. off. And I'm like, okay. And I went in my head. I'm like, who asked for Yom Kippur off? Linda Cohn. Yeah. Steve Levy, yeah. Jack Edwards. And I'm like, <laughs> Jack Edwards. One of these things is not like the other. And I, I basically said, how, how is, like, can I ask Jack for having it? And they explained to me that he had married, uh, a, you know, a Jewish lady. Gotcha. And we all know who she is. She's a wonderful lady. And mm -hmm. we've all worked with her. She's a producer. And, um, and so I said, like, you know, um, it was like a Seinfeld episode yeah. where I said, I'm like, can I speak? speak to him about it do you think mm -hmm. and they're 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 like well i mean he's been here longer than you you just showed up and right. i'm like but this is seinfeld I'm, I'm i'm more tenured as a jew though <laughs> <laughs> he's in it for the jokes he's in it Literally for the jokes was the yada, of fluoride. it was a yada 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 episode yeah. oh my yes, god yes where jack was you know yeah. the uh the tim <laughs> watley character i said uh. and that Brian Cranston, needless to say, didn't get the day off, about but say. I did get the week off. There you go. You know, people don't understand that it's such a unique experience having yeah. worked in that building and yeah. at a time at that time in too, the, yeah. and in the golden age. And I think sometimes we forget that what it was like. By the way, I only got to do one Sports Center commercial, and I was in a drawer, and you they pulled a, me out. Oh, of oh, it was the NBA? No, it was no. the writing. It was um, writer's block, and oh, okay. how we deal with writer's block, and they yeah. pull me out of a drawer, and. Yeah. You know, I come there from Fox, you know, yeah. and I was already sitting behind Keith, who did all the commercials. You remember yeah. the Keith's head on every ballpark in yeah. Major League Baseball? <laughs> you guys know. And, Michael, you remember this. Like, my job was, like, I'd do a highlight, and then Keith would do, like, a whole block of the show. Yeah. Then I'd come back and I'd no, do a highlight. And then Keith, yes. Mike, tell yeah, oh, at Fox you're talking about. Yeah, Fox. No, no, at Fox. Not at ESPN. No, no, okay. at Fox. Oh, because Keith was probably gone by the time you showed up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah right. So... When I got there, I was just like, man, I can't wait to do a Sports Center commercial. And so I got to do that one. And then they said, but we got something else for you. You can do the ad for the ESPN restaurants. They're all out of business now. Yeah. So 
Oh. The ESPN zones. Yeah. Yes, all the ESPN, ESPN zones. zones. The zones. One memorabilia I still have in my house. I did a I did a a, a poster uh, with for the ESP. I was the mater d at the yes. ESPN zone restaurant. I was the waiter. Yeah, yeah. I was the waiter. <laughs> I was the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> So, you so, see, so we screwed that one up pretty bad, apparently. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Well, Wondery. Good luck. Thank God Wondery brought us in. Yes, good luck to God alternate they routes. Uh, <laughs> we've done so. oh, that was an alternate oh route God. for sure. Yeah, that was. How about this one? What if what if Rich, in his first uh, run in the 40, pulled a hammy? What happens? Oh God! Well, I have I have pulled a hamstring or a crew, as Bill Pito would say. Oh, mm-hmm. I did pull a hamstring one year mm-hmm. running the 40. Um, and I'm like, well, that's the end of that. I'm like, um, I'm, I'm, like, we, we can't air it. And Mayock said, what are you talking about? Yeah. And I'm like, well, I mean, I pulled, I didn't finish. He goes, it's exactly why you should show it. Exactly. Right. You know, he goes, you should definitely show it because you're just like everyone else. And I'm like, oh, well, hasn't that already been established with my speed the last 10 <laughs> Aren't years? Aren't your kids faster than you now? Um, we'll find out because we're running at the Rose Bowl and my kids run as well on the nice. 20th. You guys come out if you're They're in the area, please. Than you. They've got to be faster. Well, let's come on out. Bring bring the bring your whole entertainment tonight crew, we'll brother. Come on out for the come run. On. Yeah, please. Yeah, come on. Please let's come do on. That. Seriously. Your son is a big boy. He is he's that. A big, he's oh, a big you boy. saw him, right? Yeah. At, at, at basketball. At basketball. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's six feet. My yeah, youngest he's son. He's a big boy. So I, I also think he can outrun you. He got Susie's jeans. We all go. know that. That's what you're thinking. I understand yeah. what you're thinking. <laughs> I uh, it's okay. I, I don't want to go there. It's all right. We knew that. It's all good. Another alternate route would be us um, having the conversation off the air, uh, on the air. <laughs> that would be um, a very alternate route. <laughs> that would be a hell of a route. It's yeah. funny, Stuart once said back in the day that he, he wanted to have um, a pay-per-view sports center yeah. where we would do sports center work in blue. ESPN and, and Blue. Say, yeah. whatever, yeah. ESPN Blue? Yeah, ESPN Is that the conversation? Blue. Yeah, ESPN Blue. really blue. thought. Yes. Yeah. Like, just go out, yeah. you know, call people bums. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. worse, trash. worse, worse than that. Much worse. <laughs> Much worse. Oh my God! What was your favorite sports center? Uh, commercial. Co- well, I I was fortunate because they did a whole sports center commercial about my name. Mm-hmm. Uh, was with that? Jerry you Stackhouse. You remember, yeah. It was shot at. It was shot at my cubicle. Yeah. And it's Jerry Stackhouse sitting in my chair, uh-huh. at the cubicle, and I'm sitting on my desk. And he goes, "Seriously, man, what's your real name?" <laughs> I said, "It's Trey Wingo." And he just starts cracking up hysterically at my name. And it was my favorite for that, and also because when you look at Jerry's face laughing, there's a picture of our kids when they were very young. Uh huh. So they were on they were on TV when oh, they were like cool. three and five, laughing oh, wow. because Jerry Stackhouse was making fun of my name. That was is, a great. One. Is Stackhouse yeah. a coach now somewhere? Uh, he yeah. just got fired. He just at got Vanderbilt. fired. At Vanderbilt, right? Yeah. He was at Vanderbilt, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 That's when you know you've been in this business too long. Is when guys that we covered are now coaches that have been fired, or their sons are now being drafted. That's the thing. All the kids. their sons are being Joey drafted. Porter Jr. Oh. All the kids. It's it's horrible. Devin Bush it's horrifying. Jr. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's just Patrick Sertan Jr. All of them. Oh, I'm not your kid play. Asante Samuel Jr. It's yeah. like, really? I remember when your dad was doing what you did. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, That's yeah, a you tough look, one. I mean, even think of Shaq's kids are grown. Yeah. They've they they're grown. Bronny is grown. I remember mm-hmm. doing LeBron's first game yeah. in the summer league. Yeah. And now, Bronny is in college. Wow. It's crazy. Back on the Rich Eisen Show Radio Network, sitting here again with Trey Wingo and Kevin Frazier. Check out Alternate Routes, the podcast, available widely on Amazon Music and wherever you get your podcast from Wondery. And it is all about what ifs in the sports world. I guess we could do that right now. Sure. Like, um, what if... They handed the ball off to Marshawn Lynch. Is that oh, from the inside? He doesn't want that one. He still gets tackled. He still gets tackled. Come on. Maybe. It was second down. It was second yeah, down. He had three downs. He had chances. He had chances. He had 100 plus chances. yards in that game. That's they give it to him three times. Oh, here's a really good one. Because let's that's because I know Brockmaster Flash there is a, <laughs> is the mass holiest of mass holes. Yes, he is. <laughs> um, so if that, it, it's a compliment. Thank sort you. of. Thank you. Um, <laughs> because if, if they lose that Super Bowl, it's a decade since they won their last yeah. Super Bowl, a decade. Then what happens? Does does Brady get shipped out earlier and say, we can't win with this guy anymore, we got to go with Jimmy G? The real what if, on if you want to talk about Brady being shipped out, yeah. is is what if you know the Falcons actually closed out 28-3? Correct. Yes. Correct. Like what if the Falcons just actually made the right plays in the yeah. fourth quarter of How about that on Super third Bowl? and one, you don't have a seven-step drop? How about you just hand the ball off I there? Because I, I remember 
the old Twitter yeah. uh, machine. You, you don't mean not the X. We're not throwing up the X. We don't right. do that. Um, the, the old Twitter uh, at halftime was all about yeah. Brady's washed, One, complete, in, in, and worse than the you know moving on to Cincinnati night. Correct. Like it, he's washed. This is Jimmy Garoppolo's team. Like where in the what, where is Jimmy G? Like yeah. that was for sure. Yeah, Rich at that Super Bowl. And, you know, I'm stalking celebrities now yeah. in my new life. And <laughs> That's I, one way to put it, Kevin. <laughs> and I am... <laughs> Your new life. I'm, yeah. I'm walking over. I'm literally walking over to a suite to talk to Mark Wahlberg. And out he, here Again, he comes. Kevin, sweet Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm on the outside. And, but Mark is walking away. And he's like, Kevin, I can't talk. His kid's crying. Yeah. He's like, I got to get him out of the building. I've just got to get him out yeah, of the he building. He got crushed yeah, for he leaving, left. right? Yeah. Yeah, he well, he left, left because his kid was distraught. I mean, yeah. his kid was devastated. It was 28 he, to 3. He's like, I it gotta was get, 28 to 3. Yeah. I got to get my kid out of the building because he just is, he's over. melting down. Yeah. You know, you, when your kid melts down, there's nothing you can do. And I, I just had to later, I was just like, what was that ride like yeah. when the comeback started? Right. Yeah. What are you saying to your kid? Teachable well, moments. Yeah. yeah. It's Have a you, teachable moment. You know, when you cover... And I, I was going to interview the MVP after that game. And when you do that, they take you down in the final five minutes of the game yes. to get ready to run onto the field with the vest and all that kind of stuff. So we were underneath in, uh, was it, it was Phoenix? It was Phoenix. No, no. Which what? one was this? Houston. Phoenix? Houston. 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 Yeah. Houston. 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 Yeah. yeah. So we're down there and we can't see anything. Mm -hmm. So we finally get into the room where we're waiting and there's a little monitor down there. And we hear this incredible roar. We're like, whoa, something big just happened. And that was, uh, <laughs> we saw, it was on a delay on this little monitor, and we saw the catch that put up the Seahawks down to the one-yard line, the mm -hmm. juggling catch by, yep. I can't remember who it was. Uh, so that set him up. And then a few plays later, we heard another roar, but it didn't sound the same. It's like, that sounds like a Patriots roar instead of a Seahawks oh, roar. Oh, by the way, this was in Arizona. Well, this is not Houston. Houston. Yeah, yeah, Arizona. You, you yeah, thought yeah, the Atlanta, yeah. the Patriots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is 49 Arizona. Houston. Right. And then two minutes later, we saw the interception. So like, I could tell by the sound of yeah. the crowd, yeah. which was very much decidedly big Seahawks. Uh, big Seahawks. They were going trying to go back to back. I've never seen in my entire time because I was in the crowd with yeah. Susie and her family, and um, that was the first Super Bowl I didn't have to do a post game show. So I was yeah. actually just sitting in the yeah. in the stands. And yeah. my oldest son, who's who's not as much into sports, but he was more, way, way more into Katy Perry doing the halftime act. Oh, yeah. Was it Left Shark? Was that the one that was from? <laughs> it was the Shark. shark. Yeah. It was, he, he was way more into that. He yeah. was like six or seven at the time, at any yeah. rate. Um, and I'll never forget a Patriot fan calling me over at halftime. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, he wants to talk about the game. He just leans over. He goes, your son is a hell of a dancer. <laughs> he was watching this go crazy at halftime. It was a Whenever, great halftime show. The reason, but, but, but that, at any rate, I was in the stands, yeah. and I've never seen a group of fans go from crying yeah. to elated. Yeah. Like I saw the Patriots fans, and then the Seahawks fans go from elated to yeah. crying like that. Crazy. The only thing that could come close was when Susie and I were in the stands because she was covering game seven of the 01 World Series for Fox, and mm. I was doing it for ESPN. We yeah, were in Yankees, the stands together yeah. um, and in the ninth inning. and But that, at least, when Yankee fans went from elated to crying and Cardinals and Diamondback fans went the other way, that that went that lasted over a span of like a 15-minute yeah. inning. Correct. I've never seen a flashpoint moment like that. Like that, was like that a horrifying ever. sprint from the Seattle um, owner's box around to get Kraft before he got yeah. out yeah. and watching Kraft run down. The, I mean, literally, huh. he was being carried yeah. by Wahlberg was carried because mm -hmm. all the Wahlbergs were with him because yeah. they're always with him. But he had and, and watching that moment, like the elation, they were messing up Kraft's hair. Yeah. While we're, and I was like, yeah. oh, my God, you're yeah. touching this man's hair. Yeah, What are you doing? This is crazy. Because it was the end of the long, the yeah. long drought. Correct. You know, Been 10 so years. what if? So here, Marshawn had run the damn ball. Exactly. They win and, the and game. Here's how, here's how much it changes. Like, if if the Seahawks win that game, yeah. you can make an argument that Pete Carroll becomes the greatest coach in the history of football because he would be the only coach yep. with multiple championships in college and multiple Lombardi trophies. Marshawn, the Nobody face else. of the league. Marshawn, the face of the league. Yeah. Remember how good he was that season and in that game? Yeah. Well, he had pop-up stores all that, Super I still, Bowl long. I still have the gear, yeah. the beast mode gear. He would be a mogul right now.
because you would be rocking beast mode gear. My wife loves her beast mode gear. That was the um, Blue Lemon uh, would not exist if no. Marshawn Lynch had just <laughs> because run because of it, that's another what if. There you go. That's, that's another it. domino to fall. That's it. He's uh, the new Lulu Lemon. Yeah, that was the I'm just here so I won't get fined. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Super Bowl. We yeah. also have one where somehow a weed is illegal in Florida. I, mean, I can't. Oh no, no, that. that was um that was with the Miami and Nick Saban. That's it. And that exactly. Weed yeah. beca because Nick. What if? What if Drew Brees didn't fail the physical? That's Miami? true, right? How, okay. How, does Nick Saban go back to college, ever go back to Alabama? Never. Does Alabama become a thing? Is Urban Meyer still running things in Florida because he's the greatest college coach? Because all those kids were deciding between Florida and Alabama, and if Saban's not there, they're going to Florida. They're going to Florida, and weed is legal because Ricky Williams. Exactly right. Because Nick Nick Saban <laughs> is a very pro player guy, and so when it he is wants a to reach right. people at their levels, exactly. And Nick Saban's winning anything, so so you, you know. run things down down to the nitty and the we, gritty. We we go down some rabbit holes. We've gone some scary some rabbit holes. Yeah. There's been some Kardashian mentions. With the Kardashians, which There's is uh, what's the thing I mean. It, it sounds like you should get a tinfoil sponsor and make <laughs> a hat. Yeah, we could we <laughs> wear these hats made yeah. out of tinfoil. Yeah. Rich, if you think about Run it, it down. Yeah. think about all the things you know about sports moments, the yeah. behind the scenes yes. moments, yeah. the right. things that were playing out. Yes. Yeah. We can play into those moments now. Yeah. We can add those things in. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all of that is available alternate routes podcast uh, on Amazon Music, wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes released every Tuesday. Thanks for coming in, guys. Oh, this is what a delight. This is our pleasure. This is so and simple. I did my job, Bill. I want you to know I did okay. my job. Okay. Well done. Whoa, well done. How, how big a job was it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fantastic. Wow. Uh, wow. So uh, is, that's Rich. Kevin Frazier. Well, oh, we got a heart out in okay, eight seconds, go. but then we Fly got around Roku for another minute and a half. Okay. Not to run it all down. Uh, Trey Wingo, Kevin Frazier, alternate routes. Get your podcast wherever you can. Got no, I, got, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. So who's going to do the Sports Center? One day there needs to be an old Sports Center anchor like podcast or series yeah. just telling the stories yeah, of what the hell went That'd on cool. in that building <laughs> <laughs> some of that stuff we don't want out i mean look it's mm -hmm. i mean we're past so, the statute of limitations no, right Dudes aren't going to yeah. jail yeah. i mean but we're yeah. okay allegedly yeah supposedly what did you you about to say something teacher i was gonna say guys I, I love the what if it's one of my favorite things to play and i just think of one in 1996 the Charlotte Hornets deny the Lakers trade request they keep their 17 year old superstar Kobe Bryant we How actually just change? recorded that one. We yeah. just we did just, that we just one. We that go. One last week. All right. Yeah. But Kobe would never have let that stand, right? Do you what think? What do you mean he would have never let that stand? Do you remember he wanted to go to the Lakers? To no, no. He wanted to go to the Lakers, yeah. but if the Hornets keep him and Vlade stays out west, yeah. it's a different scenario. And yeah. also understand this. Jerry West was infatuated with another superstar Correct. who came around a year later. So there could have been a similar thing. Vlade just would have been the serviceable big man but there would be another superstar in his place. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> all right. Just, just, hey, go to Amazon Wondering. Yeah. We got it for you. Okay. We it's break all the whole thing down. Look at you guys. <laughs> Look at you guys selling the soap. It's fantastic. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.